Deep Sea Mystery Bottom of the Deep Blue Sea Despite comprising more than 60% of our planet's surface, the ocean floor has been less studied than any other ecosystem on Earth. A study published in the journal Science Advances suggests that deep marine life, such as microorganisms and bottom dwellers, play a crucial role in recycling the organic waste that sinks from top waters. What exactly is the Deep Blue Sea mystery? Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start the video. The Norwegian Research Center, Norse, the Bjerks Center for Climate Research, the University of Geneva, and the CNRS, Genoscope, and IFREMER in France sequenced DNA from deep sea sediments originating from all oceans and compared the results to plankton data obtained by the Tara Oceans and Malaspina Circumglobal Expeditions to shed some light into this vastly unknown ecosystem. This is the first comprehensive catalogue of marine eukaryotes, from the ocean's upper layers to its deepest sediments. Importantly, it opens up the possibility of studying ecological questions on a global scale and in a variety of aquatic environments. Study co-author and Norse and Birkens Center for Climate Research Norway researcher Tristan Cordier said, with nearly 1,700 samples and 2 billion DNA sequences from the surface to the deep ocean floor worldwide, high throughput environmental genomics vastly expands our capacity to study and understand deep sea biodiversity, its connection to the water masses above and the global carbon cycle. Who chooses to draw the shade? The team distinguished between bottom dwellers and plankton that had sunk to the seafloor from the surface by comparing DNA sequences from sediment areas and the open ocean. This biodiversity at the ocean floor may be three times more than in the open ocean, with many taxonomic groups still to be discovered, according to the findings. We compared the DNA sequences we obtained from deep-sea benthic organisms to all of the existing reference sequences for known eukaryotes. Professor John Pawlowski from the University of Geneva's Department of Genetics and Evolution and the Institute of Oceanology of the Polish Academy of Sciences in Sopot explained that their research shows that roughly two-thirds of this benthic diversity cannot be assigned to any known group, revealing a major gap in our knowledge of marine biodiversity. From this analysis, what can we infer? In this study, Deep sea locations were hypothesized to be hotspots for carbon sequestration. The discovery of DNA from plankton on the ocean floor provides evidence that the biological pump is working as intended, lending greater credence to this hypothesis. The process by which carbon is transferred from the atmosphere and landed to the ocean and ultimately to the sea floor is accompanied by a system referred to as the biological pump, which is also referred to as the marine carbon pump. The important role this mechanism plays in regulating the climate all across the world. According to Columban de Vargas, who works for the CNRS in Roscoff, France, for the first time, we can identify which individuals of plankton populations are contributing most to the biological pump. The biological pump is one of the most important ecological processes that take place in the seas. Our findings contribute to the growing body of information that demonstrates how critically important it is to investigate marine life at greater depths. There is a good chance that ocean sediments are home to a plethora of species that have not yet been identified, each of which likely contributes significantly to the biogeochemical cycle. Emeritus Fellow at National Oceanography Center in Southampton, Andrew J. Gooday, summed up the importance of a deeper understanding of this rich diversity for protecting these vast, relatively untouched ecosystems from the impacts of potential future human incursions, and for comprehending the impacts of climate change on it. Good Day's comments can be found in the article, protecting these vast, relatively untouched ecosystems from the impacts of potential future human incursions. This is it everyone, so what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Also, put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.